Dear students, first we learn about what is botany. The word botany is derived from the Greek word botain, which means herb. Herbs, namely plants. IE refers that is what is meant by IE? That is herb, namely plants. Botany is the scientific study of plants. All you must underline it. What is botany? The scientific study about the plants is called as the botany. That plants includes to most peoples means a wide range of living organism from smallest bacteria to the largest living things, the giant sequoia tree. From the smallest bacteria to the largest sequoia tree. These are all come under the plants. By this definition, plants include algae, fungi, lichens, mosses, ferns, conifers and flowering plants. Next we learn who is father of botany. Theoprastus is called the father of botany. A Greek naturalist Theoprastus 371 to 287 BC, a student of Aristotle, he is a student of Aristotle, prepared a list of 500 plants with their names and descriptions. He find out the names and description of 500 plants and he presented these details in the book called Historia Plantarum. Based on the habits, he will naming and describing the plants it is the oldest experience in botanical work so he called as the theoprastus is called as the father of botany what is called botany ma study of plants is called as botany study of plants is very very important Plants give life to all the living organism. Plants give oxygen, food, firewood, clothes, furniture, paper, medicine, shelters. These are some of the things given by plants. So study about plants is very very important. Plants can clean the air, clean water supply, prevent landslide, protect wildlife, water purification by mountains, providing natural retreats. These are all given by the plants. Now we learn about branches of botany. During the 19th and 20th century, botany progressed Botany grow rapidly, accumulating, gathering knowledge of various aspects of plant life. During the 19th and 20th century, it is divided into different specific branches to facilitate an easy study. It is divided into different branches for the easy study. Some of them are outlined here. First, we see about morphology. It deals with the study and the description of different organs of plants. Study about the different organs of plants is called as morphology. It is of two types. They are external morphology and internal morphology. External morphology. It is a study and description of external structure of plant organs like root, stem, leaf, flower, fruit, seed, etc. Study about these things is called as external morphology. Internal morphology. It is a study of internal structure of different plant organs. It is of two branches. They are histology and anatomy. Histology. It is a study of different tissues present in the plants. Study about the different tissues present in the plants. Parenchyma, colenchyma, sclerenchyma like that we study about the tissues is called as the histology anatomy 
It deals with the study of gross internal details of plant organs like root, stem, leaf, flowers, etc. Study about the internal structure of root, stem, leaf, flowers is called as anatomy. Second one is the cytology. Study about the structure and function of cell and cell organelles and their multiplication. Study about the structure and function of cell and cell organelles and their multiplication is called as a cytology. Embryology. This branch deals with the study of development of male and female gamete. Study of development of male and female gamete. Formation of gametes that is male gamete and female gamete. For the process of fertilization. Development of embryos. Development of endosperms. And the development of seeds. Embryology that will cover the formation of gametes. And the process of fertilization. Development of embryo. And the development of endosperms. And the formation of seeds. These things we will be studied in our 12th standard first lesson ma. Palynology, the study of the development, structure and all other aspects related to microspores or pollen grain is called as a palynology. Study about the microspores or pollen grains. These are the male gametes. Study about the male gametes is called as palynology. Plant taxonomy, it deals with the identification, nomenclature and classification of plants into Related groups on the basis of information obtained from different fields of botany. Plant taxonomy means study about the plants. By identifying the plants, giving name to the plants and classifying the plants into the related group based on the information from different field of botany. So, Naraya molecular biology, genetics, bioinformatics, Biostatistics. This is the branch of botany. Kudhi, information avachu, plants identify and the different groups are classified and study the plant taxonomy. Plant physiology. This branch deals with the study of different vital important activities of plants like absorption of water and minerals, photosynthesis, respiration, nitrogen metabolism and growth. Study about the plant processes. What are they? Water mineral absorption, photosynthesis process, respiration process, nitrogen metabolism and growth. These things we studied in our 11th standard itself, smart plant physiology. Study about these things is called as plant physiology. Plant ecology. It is the study of reciprocal relationship between the plants and the environment in which they are living. Study about the plants with their environment is called as the plant ecology. Paleobotany. It deals with the study of fossil plants, paleobotany. It deals with the study of fossil plants. It helps us in understanding the cause of evolution of plants. So, and the Pudai Padimangal plants one the nala fossil plants are kulaya other pati study pandra. It helps in the cause of evolution. Evolution of Patina by the Mulama Terenjakan. This study is called as palynology. Genetics branch deals with all aspects related to genes such as their structure, synthesis, inheritance, mutations. Study about the genes is called as genetics. Genes or structure, other synthesis, inheritance, mutations. Study about these things is called as the genetics. Phytogeography. It is a study of distribution of plants in different parts of the globe during the past and present period of time. Phytogeography. Phyto means plants. Geography means different region of the globe. Number earth level different region of the number geography in Soro. Distribution of over region plants present left here, past left here in the other path study panda and the phytogeography. Pycology. It is a study of all aspects related to algae. Study about the algae is called as pycology, which are chlorophyllous and autotropic thalophytes. They have chlorophylls. 
and they are autotropic thallophytes chlorophyll they have the pigment chlorophyll and they are autotrophs they can prepare their own food and thallophytes their body is not differentiated into root like stem like leaf like structures that is called as thallophyte mycology it deals with the study of fungi mycology means study of fungi which are non chlorophyllous heterotrophic thallophytes absence of chlorophyll heterotrophic means it depends on other organism for their food that is heterotrophic and thallophytic it is also not differentiated into root like stem like or leaf like structures lichenology it is the study of lichens which are a special group of plants in which an algal member and a fungal member live together as a symbionts they are mostly grows on rocks lichens also we study in our 11th standard first lesson ma uh, in that algae are present in the center surround that the fungals are present algae produce their own food because they contain the chlorophyll so they can prepare their food fungi they does not have the chlorophyll they are non chlorophyllous heterotrophic fungus give protection to the algae algae give food to the fungus these two combinations are called as the lichens they are symbionts both are get benefited mutually benefited bryology the study of bryophytes is called as bryology 11th standard class we study about bryophytes also what is bryology study about bryophytes is called as a bryology pteridology study of pteridophytes is called as a pterology which are the first vascular plants pteridophytes are the first vascular plants they are called vascular cryptogams microbiology branch include a study of all microorganisms microorganism what is microorganism the organisms which can be seen only under the microscope is called as the microorganisms microorganism include virus bacteria algae fungi protozoan study about this microorganism are called as micro microbiology bacteriology study about the bacteria is called as bacteriology virology the branch is concerned with the study of viruses pomology study of fruits and fruit yielding plants anthology study of flowers agroecology study of grass or lawn agroecology study of grasses or lawns dendrology or xylology determine the age of trees by counting the annual rings dendrology dendrology means determine the so finding the age of trees by counting the annual rings this also we studied in the 11th standard syllabus phenology study of seasonal change in plants xylotomy study of wood or xylem vessels dear students all you must read these things ma it is very very important terms all you must learn these things thank you